Sweet Hedgehog Prickly. He or she, we have been unable yet to determine what sex the hedgehog has, lives in our vegetable garden. In this two-part series, I'm going to try and get a nice photo of Prickly. So we have a vegetable garden. We have it for quite a few years uh, already, actually. It's been uh, providing the family with, uh, yeah, with good own produce. It actually is quite large. It's 150 square meters. And for a vegetable garden for a family of four people, two adults and two kids. So actually about half of the space we don't even use. So we've been giving a little bit back to nature by uh, providing the bees with uh, flowering plants. That's been working out pretty well. And of course, I know there's been wildlife in here. Some tracking signs of animals are pretty easy to read, right? So we, there's mice, uh, but there's also moles. Uh, there's of course cats, but also other wildlife, which is more exciting for a wildlife photographer. I've seen uh, tracks of beech marten, and I've also seen tracks and scat of hedgehog. A hedgehog is of course for uh, someone with a vegetable garden very welcome because hedgehogs will eat slugs and other insects which people who own a vegetable garden rather get rid of. So that's awesome. So what I did not so long ago was I placed a wildlife camera on one of those trees. And indeed, I saw a hedgehog, I saw a beech marten, lots of birds, and also a lot of uh, house cats. So what I decided to do was to buy a proper hedgehog house. So we have a quiet corner in the back. I installed the hedgehog uh, house over there and uh, put some hay inside the house and me and my wife were walking in the vegetable garden a few days ago and then I was looking at the entrance and I saw some of the hay was outside of the hedgehog house. I was uh, pretty certain we have a hedgehog in our wildlife garden. <laughs> How awesome is that? We also bought some hedgehog uh, food, uh, specifically made for hedgehog. Tonight I decided, let's see if I can have a look to see if the hedgehog is uh, there. So I put a little hedgehog food before the house and then I walk around to see if I could see other wildlife. No hedgehogs, just a few birds. And I was arriving again and then I saw him at the entrance and I can, could hear him eating the hedgehog food. I lay down at the other side of the... So the hedgehog house is over there. And I lay down under the plum tree over there. So that's, I don't know how much it is, 10 meters or something? Probably around 10 meters. I just waited a little and then he came out again. Oh. He looked quite healthy. This was quite a big hedgehog. So cool. I was hoping he would go beyond the grass because yeah, there's a bit of high grass in front of the hedgehog house. But he didn't. He turned around over the compost heap and uh, into the raspberries. So I haven't seen him since. So well, he might still be around here somewhere between the raspberries. Or he's eating the slugs from our <laughs> neighbors. That we're housing and feeding him, but he's doing all the work <laughs> in the garden from somewhere. Ah, that's cool. I don't. I think I made a photo, but I don't think it's really a special photo. The photo indeed was nothing special. But that was not what this evening was about. 
It was all about seeing if the hedgehog is there, if it would come out and exploring the possibilities. In next week's vlog I'm going to spend some time making a nice photo of Prickly. There are opportunities here, so really, really awesome. Really curious what I can come up with later in this season with that hedgehog. Hope you liked the video. If you did the like and the comment would be much appreciated. And you can watch my next video over here. See you over there.